Hello fellow Americans, tis I the rumpled one. Today is Thursday, May 2nd, the year 2013. I was listening to the radio and they're talking about immigration and about fixing immigration and how we can't deport 11 million people and why it would behoove us to come up with some solution. You know, I am really sick and tired of all that rhetoric, all that BS. Immigration isn't broken. The problem is, is that the government isn't doing its job. We already have the laws. We need to apply them. We need to enforce them. We need to put bodies down there at the border and make sure nobody comes through, crosses that border illegally. This is not rocket science. This is not brain surgery. We don't need Dr. Ben Carlson down there to fix the problem. No. This is common sense. This is just doing what's supposed to be done. And what's so upside down and backwards is that people who do the job of enforcing the border wind up getting sued for illegal detention or, or kidnapping and, and all this crazy. In other words, somebody comes across the border onto their property, they round them up for the officials and they get sued for kidnapping them. That is just ridiculous. Or, or border patrol agents you know, fighting for their lives, get charged and go to prison for, for murdering illegals. You know, this is just, it's just stupid. You know it, I know it. Why is it that Congress doesn't know it? I'll tell you why. Back to the pimps and hoes. You see, it's all part of the system. There's benefits to having illegal aliens here. I mean, I... I even hear that in California, they're going to let illegal aliens serve jury duty. Excuse me? You've got to be kidding me. I don't know, but I'm like fed up with, with this nonsense. And how, how do we even allow this. I guess because we're too busy taking care of number one, which is understandable. You got to have a roof over your head and, you know, something to feed your belly and something to keep warm. And by the time you do all that, you're tired. Oh, man. You don't have time to go to meetings or write congressmen or call your congressman or senator. I understand. But the problem is, since we've done that, look, look at the result. So, unless we the people are crazy, we're going to have to change if we expect things to change. Because if we don't change, if we don't do something different, then they're not going to do anything different. It's just that simple. I mean, votes come up. People don't vote. They go, why should they? It's all... But you see, that, that's not working for us. So we the people, it's like we got to stand up. You know, will the real pimps and hoes please stand up? No, we have to stand up. Why isn't there a march on Washington to say, hey, let's secure the border. Better yet, why aren't we down there at the Arizona border, New Mexico border, Texas border, California border with our guns? saying nobody comes into our country illegally. Could the government stop us? I really would like to see that happen. That if the government sent in troops to remove us from the border for protecting the border, for doing their jobs, that would, that would really make some headlines. I really think that's where Governor Jan Brewer missed her chance. I think she could have been the next president if she would have done that. Because I do believe there have been enough good old boys jumping in their pickup trucks with shotguns and whatever, would have gladly gone down the border and, and guarded that border. Now, I would have been one of them, just for the heck of it. Just to stand up, be counted. But it, it, just, it just flabbergasts me that we have these elected officials who swear to uphold a constitution Many of them have, have taken that oath multiple times, like uh, Senator McCain, but they just seem to ignore it. 
It's just ridiculous. And this 11 or 13 million illegal aliens, bull. We all know government numbers are wrong. It's more like 30 to 40 illegal aliens in this country. And why can't we round them up? When in history was there something that America go, oh, we can't do that? America's always been the can do. Yeah, we can do it. If nobody else can, we can. Let's show them how to do it. It's not that we can't do it. It's that the people that we've elected to public office, the highest office of the land, the highest positions, aren't doing what we elected them to do. You know it, I know it. And it just makes me sick. It really does. Now, this isn't some kind of uh, racist whatever rant. No, it's got nothing to do with the color of their skin or anything. It's a, it's the thing is, this is a border. You cross the line illegally, you should be dealt with and dealt with severely. Period. Doesn't matter where you came from. It's just that you didn't come through the door at the right passageway. You did it illegally. It's just like if somebody comes on my land illegally, I got keep out, no trespassing. They come up here, uh, and I tell them to leave, and they don't. Well, then Mr. Remington's going to do the talking. I, I'm not going to waste my breath. It's just that simple. And when they see Mr. Remington, that's when they usually turn around and leave. And it'd be that simple. It's that simple. It's just that we've got these pimps in Washington, D.C. that are pimping us out, pimping this country out, repeatedly for their own personal gain and personal gain of their friends. People like Dick Cheney, Halliburton. These people make me sick. I'm sure there's a lot of you feel the same way. The funny thing is, is that, once again, unless we actually stand up and do something about it, things aren't going to change. You see these people, the three percenters, all over YouTube and Facebook. I don't know. Is there enough of us? I wonder because uh, there's people that say, hey, you know what? Hey, you're, you're right on, TRO. You're right on, Rumple One. You're hitting the nail on the head. But then I look and maybe only a couple hundred people have seen the video. I don't know, maybe I'm too ugly, that's why I haven't gone viral. If the message is out there, you know, maybe there's enough other people saying the same thing. I don't know, I haven't really seen them. I don't know what the answer is. I don't know what the answer is. I just know that I'm sick and tired of our elected officials ignoring the Constitution of the United States. So my fellow Americans, wake up and smell the tyranny.